You know, I've had the opportunity to work with a lot of really, really talented traders, market wizards, and one of the things that I was thinking about this morning while I was having these trades on, I was like, you know, would would Mark, would um, Tom Basso, would uh, Jason Shapiro, would Larry Hype definitely wouldn't, I know that for sure. Would any of these keep these trades on? And of course, the answer was no. So I needed to move. That really was what prompted me this morning. And then I saw this tweet from Steve and I'm like, you know what? I feel like this is appropriate and definitely a reminder to myself. Don't predict, react, right? The market's telling a story, learn to listen. So let's break that down. Don't predict, predict, react. The market's telling a story and learn to listen. So the market right now still shows a sell signal on SPY, right? We see that. So we're only looking to go short. The market still is under its 10 EMA. And then we take a look and we're listening to J and J, which got a new sell signal today. The market's telling a story, learn to listen, right? And so if we got those signals and it works and we're listening, right? We're doing the right thing like we did over here, doing the right thing, taking those signals, listening. But even when the best signals that you've got come, not everyone is right. And if you don't listen, if you don't react, then it's just going to work against you, right? So to Steve's point, don't predict react even though we're using in my opinion some of the best data in the entire world i'm so stoked about so glad to share this with you it doesn't always work and rather than sitting here and predicting oh the spy is going to come down the spy is going to come down it could take three or four weeks before that actually happens but in the meantime you got to react and make it work so thank you all so much for coming today um looking forward to um you know, making this work. Looking forward to getting out of this drawdown. Looking forward to uh, having some really amazing trades. And of course, right now, the best thing you can do as a trader is always to reduce risk. And so we're going to be doing that even more strongly than uh, we have been over the last several weeks. So every trade has an opportunity to, uh, to win or to learn from it. This is an opportunity to learn from them and improve on them. Thank you all so much for coming. Have a fantastic afternoon. I will see you right back here tomorrow. Talk soon.